It's Father's Day, and I'm actually not much of a greeting card holiday preacher. Hey, hey. For those of you who missed it, I'll say one more time. I'm really not much of a greeting card holiday preacher. However, it is right to give honor where honor is. And if you had a good father, or have a good father, you ought to give God thanks this morning. Amen. People often think that the family is the focus of the devil's activity. Untrue. The focus of the devil's activity is on fathers, because families come out of fathers. And if you take down the fathers, you don't have to worry about taking down the family. Getting real quiet here. Gotcha. Can anybody say amen? To amen. amen. Gotcha. So, that was a, a joyful word, wasn't it? To start amen. out with this it morning. Is. I want you to understand that whatever good, bad, ugly, indifferent your encounter with fathers has been, your father, as bad as he was or as good as he was, is nothing like your heavenly father. Nothing like your heavenly father. Isn't that amazing? Now, if you had a good father, from time to time you would catch glimpses of your heavenly father from time to time. But only glimpses. If you had the, if you considered that you had the best father in the world, through him you only caught glimpses of the goodness of God. That's why Jesus would say in Matthew, what was it, 7? He said, if you being, speaking to fathers, he said, if you being evil, the word is actually hurtful, if you being hurtful know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more, say much more, much much more. more. how much more does your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask? Say to those who ask. Helen, you want to know why the window went back in? <laughs> 